the moment. But the World Cup is only a few months away now. So while your attention is on Borussia Dortmund at the moment, how are you still able to prepare for the World Cup? For me, it's more about to delegate because I'm not in Ghana. But, you know, I've got uh, very, very good stuff. And um, we have our task list for each department. Um, We're having Zoom meetings just to check up on the things which have been done. And the work actually as such is, is done by the staff. I'm also getting the highlights from, from the players. I don't know if I like to say, but on Wise Scout Institute, you can get all the matches of the national teams. So the last matches of Portugal will have them. For us, it's very, very interesting if a team plays against Portugal and they're playing, let's say, in the same system we would like to play against them. From there, we can see how what they did well or where they should have improved and we can take it into our game. It's basically actually more, more time in the evening and twice a month, we're having Zoom meetings just to check up if the tasks uh, have been done and um, that's it actually. See. Yes, since March, we've been talking with a lot of players who we think um, they can impact on the team. I can understand it's a difficult decision, especially if you were born in another country and you're young and uh, you have the choice to, to play for either this nation or, or, or that. It's very, very difficult because, you know, once you've played more than three matches, um, you can't change again. And uh, this is not a decision like on club stage where you can sign maybe for one, two, three years. And then after that, if things doesn't work, you can go to, to another club. It's a lifetime decision, so it's very, very difficult. Me being born in Germany, and maybe I can even understand more of that thinking. But surely we want um, those who decided to play for Ghana to get familiar with the teams, uh, with the staff. And so everybody who wants to join has to join now, and um, they know exactly what they're going to do. Like I said, this is why they really have to think um, what to do. Because, um, yeah, surely, especially if you're not born in this environment, it's not always easy. But um, they know what they get. And uh, first of all, it's a lot of joy. It's a lot of love. And surely also for them, it's not only about the World Cup. It's about more World Cups to come. It's about African Cup of Nations. It's about winning. It's about being successful. So, so it's not about just this one World Cup. 